I recently got the multi-material upgrade from Prusa. Somebody called it a waste, so I did some math. Because every time you print something, uh, it creates this purge tower for whenever the filament is changing colors. So, if you see right here, whenever you print one thing, or up to five, I calculated how many grams it's going to take. It takes 85 all the way up to 138. And if you divide it by how many items you print, you get the average amount of filament spent on each print. So up here, if you print only one sheep, it's going to be 85.5 grams of filament. Keep in mind, uh, there's a thousand grams of filament in one roll, and each roll of filament costs $20. So 85.5 grams of filament comes out to about a dollar and a half. If you print more on a larger scale, 27.6 grams of filament comes out to about 50 cents. And you can print up to probably 15 of these on a bill plate. So just think about how much lower your costs are the more you print. Okay, so this is the unit itself on top of the Prusa MK3S. And then this is mid print right now. I'm printing a Mario mushroom. Um, and it's currently working on the purge block right now, changing colors. So, um, it does take a bit longer to print because of the multiple colors and changing the filament, but not much. In terms of building the multi-material upgrade, it was difficult. I built the Prusa MK3S myself, which took a lot longer than it should have because I had to rebuild a bunch of parts. So for the MMU, I was really cognizant of being able to put together everything just as perfect as possible. I still ran into uh, issues after calibration, troubleshooting issues, some stuff I honestly can't even explain, and some intuition moving stuff that just isn't online. Um, so leave a comment if you need help because I've been looking for a video like this that could like just give me help and I couldn't find anything. So uh, let me know if you need help and please subscribe for more 3D printing videos. This is just the beginning.